All right, guys, for centers today, we have our four centers. First of all, we're going to start off what's going on in the teacher-led center, OK? So for you four right here, um, who can tell me what we're going to be uh, working on in our teacher-led center? EJ. Fractions. OK. All right, so we're going to be focusing on fractions. Now, what strategies or any kind of skills are we going to use by, while doing fractions? Wait, go ahead, EJ. You have that? Um, we will be doing. Like, is there any certain things you're gonna be understanding? Like, what did we talk about last time? We talked about how uh, how the thing and uh, I. Okay, Alex, you want to help him out? What did we talk about last time? Division. Okay, how we talked it about. Helps. Okay, we talked about how uh, division helps with fractions and things like that. Okay, good. So we're really gonna be focusing on working with fractions and how fractions work. Okay, in the computer center over here. Okay, what are, we, what are we gonna be doing in the computer center? Okay, Kenny. I ready. Okay, we're gonna be working on I ready. <laughs> what happens if uh, you finish the I ready lesson? Where do we go to, Caden? Reflex math. We go to reflex math. And what skills are you working on in reflex math? Charles? We're going to be working on multiplication and division. Uh, what, what about multiplication and division? We're gonna be learning, we're gonna be learning div division how we how we divide each fact, so like 5 times 4 equals 20, and okay. 20 divided by So we're working on basic facts. OK, good. Now, then when we go to get the game center, we separate into two groups. What skills <laughs> are you going to be working on in the game division? center? Division. Now, we've worked on uh, many standards with division, if you look up here. So can you correlate how this uh, goes with the center? That's dealing with money in the algorithm. OK, so you might have problems with money. And the algorithm as well. Okay, so there's gonna be uh, you can do many different things in the game center. You can do exponents. You can work on division as well. Now, can somebody explain to me what's going on over here in the enrichment center? Okay, you're gonna be solving word problems. Now, when solving word problems, we talked about this many times. What kind of strategies are you gonna use when we solve word problems? Anybody? We talked. We had the rubric when we did word problems. So, what strategies can you work on when you're looking at these word problems? That you explain how you got your answer. Okay, maybe you can explain to your group how you got your answer to help you, all of you better understand it. Okay, so and we can focus on all of these. So remember, uh, where station you go to and what's going on in each station. Okay, so now before we start, you go to each center. We're gonna uh, champ it out over here. Remember, your voice level when you're at your center is a voice level one. Now before we get started, are there any questions? Okay. Now, we know who the group leaders are in each group, so if there's no questions, go ahead and walk to your center, please. We're going to focus on this first page right here where it goes two through eight, okay, and we're going to work on it together. So we're going to start with um, these first questions here, okay? It says, how many equal parts are there? So we're going to look at the picture on the side, on the side of your paper. It's asking how many equal parts <coughs> there are. Who can tell me how many equal parts are in that fraction? One third, three. Oh. Okay, how do you know there's three equal parts? Because... Um, there's one, well, technically there's two, if you don't count the shaded part, mm -hmm. but with the shaded part, if you count, there's three. Okay, um, so the, there's three equal parts, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So um, now, the next question is how many parts are shaded? Just by looking at how many parts are shaded. One third. Okay. Well, that's true. I'm, well, I'm glad you know shaded. that, but there's one shaded. Now, what fraction, what, what could you name that? One third. Okay. Now, how do you know it's one third? <laughs> um, looking at this, okay, we're, gonna, one, we're not going to focus on the percentage. One, two, we're going to focus one, two, on the fraction go. itself. Okay? Eight is what fraction? Somebody read this fraction for me. Where's that bench? 90 and 20. Now, Anthony, Anthony, let's take some time. I think, yeah, it's 10. Okay, so that's 52. 52 divided by 4. 152 divided by 4. Alright, the denominator is how many are total? 152. And what's the one thing? Divided by 4. Okay. That one is more easier than it is. Each, so 3, 4, 5. Why don't you just do your own multiplication, Anthony? Eh? That's how he got his answer. Uh, so you added 25 Boom. 80, 3 times. It's more harder, but still. So how did you figure it out? Because it should be a lot more work. Now how did you do it? 
the same way that you did, except I multiplied. Oh, okay. So what's the correct answer? We don't know. Maybe we can look at the answer key. No, we have to do all the problems. Yeah, at the end we'll look Yeah, after the five questions. The after the five questions, we can... Okay, does everyone agree? Any questions? Any questions? Yes. Where did you multiply? She did, but I didn't. No more questions? Okay. Okay, no. So, what do you know about these? I figure out these. Okay, 56 25 times 6. But it's more simple. Repeated Last addition. Room was, and Last room was taken up. So Anthony's is like way longer. He used repeated addition and she didn't. She just used multiplication. And her, her way is more simpler, yes. but it's the same answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Any questions?